your friend. you chatted. I'm uneasy about how quiet it is on the Richard front. Two weeks of flyovers and no movement. Chatter, call it a day. Dinner's almost ready. About time. Ah! Adios, amigos. This long without seeing your brother? Dude's definitely up to something. Yeah, but what now? With Richard, it could be anything. Some bizarre new Bionobot or another new secret outpost. Yeah, well, if it's an outpost, let's just hope it's on another planet. Right, Kong? <laughs> Bye. The pizza! <laughs> I just hope I didn't overnuke it! It's gotta be better than last night's excuse for dinner. Hey, it was completely edible. Sorry, Lucas, but survival rations do not count as dinner. Well, say that after you see what Jonesy's planning for breakfast. Man, I can't wait for Anita and Poncho to get back from Mexico. I miss Anita's cooking. <laughs> I hear ya. And I'm pretty sure Danny misses Punchy, too. <coughs> Just a guess, but I think I blew it. Again. <coughs> yeah, bummer. <laughs> Don't sweat it, Danny. We'll survive until Anita gets back. A few lousy meals are nothing compared to the real problems in the world. No joke. According to this new report, the Arctic's begun melting again faster than ever. <coughs> The Arctic. It's this really cold place at the bottom of the world and- Actually, Danny, it's at the top. See? So, how can it be melting? Well, that was a major question for a good part of the last century. Until people realized climate change was wreaking havoc on everything. Ah, not cool! <laughs> yeah, right. Not cool. The good news is, by 2020, people started making real changes, and the Arctic melt began reversing. But now, for some inexplicable reason, those ice caps are melting faster than Kong eats bananas. <laughs> You've hardly made any progress. Why is this taking so long? Even you must realize that if the process were easy, others would have extracted the gold ages ago. It is not a simple task to raise the Arctic temperature to over 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Just speed up the laser drilling so my Bionobots can access the gold. You are aware your operation is already having far-reaching negative effects on the dwindling wildlife, as well as threatening coastal flooding. What's your point? that your actions have once again thrown up a Kong-sized red flag. The entire world is now focused on the Arctic melt. Oh well, then there's only one thing to do. Stop flapping your jaws and hurry up and get my gold! Forgive me, but I fail to compute your level of greed. Thanks to me, our last endeavor already made you one of the richest men on Earth. One of, yes. But it will take even more to create and defend my new world order. I need that gold. At what cost to the planet? Shall I calculate the devastation? Not unless you want to be collateral damage. Ha! Sneaking away to get out of making breakfast? <laughs> huh. Wish it were that simple, big guy. <laughs> we were gonna tell you after we packed up. We're heading to the Arctic. To do what we were trained to do save endangered animals. You mean like penguins? Uh, no, Danny. All remaining species of penguins live south of the equator. Got it. Like in Antarctica. Right. We're worried about the Arctic polar bears. There are so few left, we want to be sure they survive whatever catastrophe is happening now. 
They're strong swimmers, but when the icebergs melt, the bears won't have anything to rest on. So you mean they could drown? <laughs> okay, so while you're gone, how about we keep monitoring Kong Island in case Richard and Botilla show up? You bet. Perfect. I'll check on the baby seal before they return. She means we will. It's way too dangerous for you to go alone. So me and Kong will go with you. <laughs> hey, good thinking, Kong. He says we shouldn't just check on little Cop Happy. We should rescue him. Great idea. But Amy, you'll need a safe place to relocate the seal after you save him. Remember that sea cave we discovered just north of the Oregon border? Yeah, with a pretty large herd of seals. Amy, I'll shoot you the coordinates as soon as we're airborne. All right. We're all going on rescue missions. <laughs> Unreal. The whole area is melting so fast the ice flows are cracking apart. It's even worse than the reports. Jonesy, polar bear, two o'clock. Looks like we got here just in time. Poor guy's exhausted. We need to help him get to a solid section of ice. If we can still find any. I'll break out the sub-zero gear. Unless our thermometer is busted, the outside temperature is the same as when we left San Francisco. No way. This is seriously serious. <laughs> there you go. Perfectly healthy and ready to meet your new herd. Good news, buddy. You're getting out of this Bionobot freak show. <laughs> we'll miss you, little guy. <laughs> I know, Kong. It's sad for us, but Clap Happy will get to be with other seals, so he'll never be lonely again. <laughs> I've never been this close to one of these Bionobots. They look so real. Did they really think we didn't have eyes on the island? A rhetorical question, I assume. Destroy them. Should have figured it was too easy. <laughs> Careful there, partner. That bear's got a wicked right hook. <laughs> I can't help you if you knock my head off. I wish Danny was here to tell him we're on his side. Okay, now we're just gonna move you. Got him! All right, let's move. <laughs> Nice to see you handle Kong's latest victory with your usual level of maturity. When I want an opinion from you, I'll program it. Never forget who controls you. Hey, I, I get you hate this, but we're almost there. You'll be safe. At least for a while. Okay, Jonesy! Take us down slow and easy. And you're good to go. I'm no animal whisperer, but I'm pretty sure he's saying thanks. Good luck. Definitely my favorite part of the job. Mine too. What if? <laughs> And this is definitely my least favorite part of the job. Okay, it's time to take you to your new herd. <laughs> Sounds funny, like you should be a cow. Hey, I guess that's why some people call them sea cows. <laughs> Amy, it's a distress signal from Jonesy. But it cut off before he could say where they are. 
Don't worry, we can track their coordinates. Come! Lucas and Jonesy are in trouble. Let's go! <laughs> We're a little underdressed for the Arctic. Oh, yeah. Okay, first the tree fort, then the Arctic. We haven't forgotten about you, little guy. We'll drop you off on our way north. Once again, I have bested my brother. <sighs> Correction. My sensors detected intruders. I sent the Bionobots to intercept... My Bionobots! But what matters is you are finished interfering with my operations. Exactly what operations? I mean, other than melting the ice caps? Or is that your entire twisted plan? Oh, that's just a means to an end, my brother. Keep a sharp eye on them. Fine. Babysitting. An excellent use of my superior skills. Don't worry, Lucas. I'll stop melting what's left of the ice once I get what I want. Which is what, Richard? Oh, you'll find out in due time. So, Bartilla, guess you've been keeping busy. <laughs> Parkas, gloves, earmuffs, snow boots, snow shoes, thermal socks. Oh, what about Kong? They don't make thermal underwear in his size. His fur should keep him warm for a while. Okay, Kong, let's take Clap Happy to his new home and then jet to the Arctic. Pronto! I know your brother is nature's worst enemy, but this is extreme, even for him. Nah, Richard's totally losing it. We have to find a way out of this porta prison and stop him. No matter how low you go, my audio sensors can hear you. Batilla, how about you shut this thing off? Your attempt at levity is wasted on me. N I'm serious. Come on, you owe me. Remember, I'm the guy who got you out of the T-Rex and back into your own body. Yes. However, that does not mean I am required to reciprocate. Hey, that's more than Richard ever did for you. Correction. Richard created me. Oh, sure. Sure, so he can use you and order you around like all his toys until he gets bored and replaces you. Look, we all know you're the one that keeps saving his bacon, but he treats you like a lower life form. You are clearly his superior. Enough. Consider my debt paid in full. Do not expect any further favors. Got it. Done deal. Thanks! Thanks. Good thing we keep in shape. Hit it, Jonesy. We need to get the word out that Richard's responsible for melting the ice caps. Just one problem. Everything's dead, including communications. Engine trouble? Could be because I removed this. Yeah, that would do it. And don't bother looking for your weapons. I took those, too. I've suspected for some time that I could no longer trust Bartilla. But until she released you, I didn't have absolute proof. Bartilla will pay for her treachery, but you first. Yeah, I think my other bro has other ideas. with a snowball! Yes, 
so. I can fix the chopper if Kong can hold off those dinos long enough. <laughs> the dumb ape is out of his element, so my Bayana bots will easily destroy him. It's a short bet that Kong's never been ice skating, but he can learn. Be careful, Danny. Get him while he's down! Kong, don't try to walk in the ice! Slide, Kong, like this! Trust me, you can do it! Hurry, Kong! <laughs> They can't slide! Yeah, but Kong can slide circles around those Bionic bot heads. and I will be back in a few. Okay, you know what to do. Temperatures dropping back to sub zero. Man, I'm hungry enough to eat my own cooking. Not me. No way. Then how about some survival bars? Speaking of survival, wonder how Richard's doing. Oh, he'll be fine. Somehow my brother always comes out on top. Attila, I command you to come to these coordinates at once. Attila. Attila! You took long enough. To prepare your hot beverage, or remove you from that ice flow? Your query is unclear. I think you enjoyed letting me freeze out there. Is that why you summoned me? 
to begin the berating. No, I summoned you to introduce you to your replacement. My new Bionabot will have no doubt who her superior is, and will never betray me like you did. As of this moment, Batilla, your services will no longer be required. <laughs> Wait, what? I order you! You no longer give the orders. I have eliminated my destruct code, and I am now in control of all your Bionabots, including her. This new unit will serve me well. You can't do it! It appears your inferior mind is having trouble computing that it is I who will no longer require your services. <laughs> 